Awesome, because uh, we have a, a very important topic to talk about today. Uh, so you're very, very glad you didn't miss this, because we are going to talk about how to safely store dog. And the background to this is uh, we, uh, we started out building uh, an MVP, pretty similar to the speech here before, a social app that combines Telegram and Notion, so you can easily create structured data. Uh, and we use conventional blockchain methods like uh, authenticate with MetaMask, and then we built a back on Orbit DB. But pretty quickly, we realized that uh, it was too slow. Like sending messages took forever. It was expensive. And encryption, impossible. So we had to make changes. We looked into Orbit DB, and we added auto sharding and end to end encryption and call it PeerBit. So the questions that we, we wonder upon to, to create the mission of a simple new world is how can we make it super easy to develop distributed applications and how can we make peer-to-peer -peer apps scalable yet have a minimal code base? Yeah, so a little background. Some of you maybe know what a pen-only log database are, but it's quite simple. Basically, all your changes are created through like a tree as a direct uh, in a DAG graph um, like this. So in the start, there's some change, and then there are new changes that are linked to the old change. And this graph builds on and on, becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and this, um, this tree has heads, as you would call it. And using those heads, anyone can read the log backwards and get the whole data set. And what's powerful about this is that you can represent things with a tree. If you read a log in a particular way, you can represent it as a picture. It could be like the instructions how to draw the dog. Um, or it could be a database containing pictures of dogs. Um, but for simplicity, let's just say that this represents a dog. And we wonder, how would we efficiently make sure that this DAG is stored on computers? So imagine that you want to host this database on a few devices, maybe on AVS or maybe your home server. How do we make sure that we can store it so that we don't need to distribute it on all devices? How can we make sure that we can find the dog later? How can we make sure that when we ask the computers, hey, where is the dog, someone, someone actually replies with the answer? So this comes down to the way that we do um, data sharding. So basically, um, we need to make a decision. Um, where should this content end up? And who is going to be responsible for the index indexing of content? So what we developed is, like, is a leader selection routine based on the content. And it's pretty simple. So I'm going to go through it with you. Um, so the, the goal is to find, given a dog, you want to find what computers are going to store it. And every computer has a label. That's the peer ID, which we are familiar with. And the dog has a label, which is the hash of it uh, when you store it. So what we do is that we hash the labels of the computers or the peers and the dog with the same hash function. Uh, we sort the hashes in some deterministic way. Then we take the things back from the hashes. Then we choose the replicators as the adjacent indices to the dogs where they end up in the sorted list. So in a world where we want two computers to store and replicate this dog, you would choose the two adjacent indices. And since this hash function is um, based on the content, it will be unique depending on what you're going to store. So if it's a cat for now, it's going to be different computers in different ordering. And this, in the long run, makes content distribute evenly across your devices, yet um, um, it's not super complicated to understand. And everyone can understand how this works. Um, and it also works very well. If some computer goes down, you, you just redo the leader selection. And then what you end up with is a um, urge to redistribute content. And when you do this, you end up in a situation where you always have the same amount of rep replicators, no matter how many are participating in a network. Um, so 
with PRBit, we, we included this uh, as a core functionality of everything you upload, um, um, you're gonna do this. Uh, so, so, go, so go a little deeper in, uh, in the technology, um, merging events can happen. Two distant states can merge. Uh, two, imagine that you have a ledger in two different countries. When one makes a transaction, one comes to another, those two states become dependent. And we got the same situation here. So imagine the dog uh, graph here has a graph ID called dog, and we have a cat, and we want to merge these. Imagine this is a Photoshop file or whatever. We want to make sure that this is in line with the replication things that I described earlier. Um, so this is kind of an innovative step we do, is that we assume that the merge state is either a cat or a dog. It's not like a mix, like a cat-dog hybrid. Um, so what we do is that we say that the label of the next head is the label of the one who has the longest chain. So kind of a proof of work uh, idea, almost. Um, so what basically happens with this case is when the dog and the cat tree merges, uh, it's gonna say that the cat tree is kind of shadowed. So every, every computer who has been responsible for storing the cat's state is gonna don't have to do that anymore. And in all, everything this is written in a super digestible way. So what you need to do to write these decentralized apps is just to use our primitives. So if you wanna build, for example, a collaborative text document, the only thing you need to do is to extend our program framework and use the string instead of string for distributed string. And when you modify this, it's gonna automatically replicate amongst your peers. And you can do like two string or two string remote to get remote uh, states uh, of that string. So the idea is to um, let developers have the easiest developing experience possible, yet have this scaling functionality. Uh, and um, yeah, so this is basically it. If you're curious more, um, please go to our website and you will direct the link to our GitHub repo and you can read more about the tech. Thank you.